everybody so i wanted to quickly run through three new features that are available in the margin terminal now that a license is not required for the terminal and you guys can use it for free and those features are called the smart order router um, the arbitrage explorer and the arbitrage overview so let's jump right in you need to add a tool window Let's take a look first at the Smart Order Router. We'll give this a name. We'll add it at the bottom. And let's so you can either load a pair here, which is preloaded, or you can specify any pair at all that's supported. Uh, so let's load Bitcoin USDT. Rearrange this just a little bit. And now we can use the slider here. Okay. And as you see, as we move the slider, depending on the amount we want to trade, it's going to calculate where to split the order over. So what we're looking at here is a consolidated order book made up of, in this case, five exchanges. Yeah, we have five exchanges loaded here. And we can click this little button here um, if the pair is not loaded in one of the exchanges. Uh, in this case, it won't load anything new because we only have five loaded. Um, and basically, it's going to compute the best price for a given amount you want to trade. And it will then execute that order in parallel so that there's no front running available. So, you know, you can avoid being front run by basically splitting the order at the same time and sending it out to multiple venues. Um, right now we can see that this execute button is not clickable. And that's because we haven't taken account of the actual funds that we have. That's also a point to take care of that you need to have funds on each of the accounts here, each of the exchange accounts to be able to actually trade there. So they need to be pre-funded. And here we'll take account of what we have. Of course, we're only on demo markets now, but we still need to check this. Okay, and as we check it, uh, we can see that now it's basically going to split it over these three different exchanges here. Um, okay, so we can click execute and then it should execute over these three exchanges and we can hear it getting executed you'll get a small summary here of the planned order execution and the achieved order execution and you can see a per market summary as well of where the where the orders went and you can also check out in the chart so we were trading on bitcoin usdt and we can see that we have a buy order here um, and i guess on the bigger venues we have a buy order so let's take a look here um, Bitcoin USDT, we have a buy order here as well. So you can go and check in the chart and see what's happened. If you want to sell, you can click into the sell tab and then basically the same applies here. This time it will split it over four exchanges and you can with a one click, you can, you can sell. Okay, so that's the smart order router. It also takes account of fees. So it traverses the order book depth and takes account of fees. If the fees coming in through the API are reported wrongly, you've got lower fees, you can adapt that by clicking in here and adapting the fees or left clicking and doing the uh, opening up the editor and applying those reduced fees um, across all the pairs on a particular exchange. So just, and that will then propagate through into the consolidated order book. Okay, so that's the smart order router. In a nutshell, um, the next feature I want to show you guys is the Arbitrage Explorer. And maybe before we jump into that, I just want to show you something that you can use as a kind of a, a tool as well. If you take a look at, there are different Arbitrage Explorer tools out there, for example, Arbitool. Um, and um, if you take a look at Arbitool, for example, um, it's giving you some, you know, it's scanning all the markets and it's giving some update on where the, um, you know, the arbitrage possibilities are. And you can basically take a look here. Exmo, we don't have in margin, um, but we have, um, you know, for example, yeah, Bittrex and Gate and Binance, and here's an opportunity on Dusk, USDT. So you could try to find some here, and then we'll see how it works out in the, in the terminal. So um, yeah, let's load the arbitrage explorer so arbitrage explorer uh, in this case we'll input this um, dusk usdt 
and boom, we can see, yes, we indeed do have an arbitrage um, possibility here. We can see it was on two exchanges, BTrue and Binance, where we would buy and then sell on Bittrex. Um, and so we can also set the amount here. Um, and um, we can see here visualization of the consolidated order book and it's in green if there's an arbitrage possibility. So basically this means that the order books are overlapping. There's an inefficiency in the market, uh, across the markets, and then the arbitrage explorer allows you to take advantage of that. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. So it's a cross exchange arbitrage. This is once again a consolidated order book. And this visualization here will show you uh, what's possible. Now the gain is quite small. Look, it's just like 75 cent although it does take account of fees here. Um, and we can make it, actually the arbitrage possibility is a bit bigger, it's like $2 and now nearly $4 if we make it bigger. Um, and once again, it's gonna be a one click to execute that. But of course, we need to take care of the funds as well. Now, if in this case, I <laughs> I uh, use this button to, uh, to take account of funds, then the arbitrage possibility disappeared. And that's because I don't have any dusk, I guess. If I'm gonna buy, I need to sell at the same time. So I'm gonna to have to give myself some dusk. Let's say I'm selling on Bittrex, so let's go to Bittrex. I'm in the demo market here. So um, I can go to the pair itself and just give myself some, so some dusk in demo mode, that's possible. Um, and now if we click it, it should be there. So now we can actually take, a, take uh, advantage of it. We can execute, and once again, we should get a, you know, a planned execution and an achieved order execution. Um, we can see some kind of a gain here. Um, yeah, we can see the pair market summary of where things were bought, where things were sold, and then we can take a look in as well. We see we sold on Bittrex, but we bought on some of the other markets. I forget which ones right now. Um, Maybe here, no, there's no dusk there. Binance, maybe we bought on Binance. Yes, we bought on Binance. And um, yeah, so that's the Arbitrage Explorer. And you know, it's possible to, once again, to immediately execute these trades um, across multiple markets, as long as you have funds on those markets. Um, the final tool I want to show you guys is also in the tool window and um, let me take this out. Um, and so I can do a shortcut here to the tool window and I can add in arbitrage overview. Now here, um, now in, the, in the past we, we hosted some uh, pairs that you could load in this VPS. This is not active right now, um, but we have this built-in version here. And if we load this built-in version, so basically for every pair that's loaded across these markets it will scan for some arbitrage possibilities and you can look down through to see what if there is there any arbitrage possibilities on other pairs and um, in this case we can also filter um, we can say arbitrage is possible and actually we only have one here which is what we've seen here on this dusk but you can add more pairs in here and then they will also show up in the list and that's another way to keep an eye on maybe there are some pairs that are that are interesting and that you can you know that you can keep an eye on basically so that's it um yeah hope you guys have fun first of all playing around with it in demo mode a note of caution if you load a real market and a demo market and then you execute either a smart order router or um, yeah, or an arbitrage explorer um, trade, then it will trade on all open markets. So be very careful to only load demo markets if you're testing it, because it will trade on your account um, and uh, only use it then on real accounts when you are sure that that's what you want to do. Okay, happy trading everybody. Take care.